Good morning, everybody. My name is Doug Horton. On behalf of the Gloucester County Mayor's Prayer Breakfast, we'd like to welcome you to our 31st annual Mayor's Prayer Breakfast. Good morning. On behalf of the 7,500 and Spiro employees, I want to thank you for the honor to be here this morning. Um, I can't think of a better way to uh, bring out this Advent season for us all to be together and celebrate the tremendous blessings that we all have. This is my third mayor's prayer breakfast. And what I love most about this group is the intersection of faith, business, community leaders, and elected officials coming together to pray for our great nation. Uh, in 2 Chronicles 7:14, it says, if my people will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Healing our land starts with prayer and getting back to the basics of loving God and loving others. We are called to love God and love others no matter what the circumstances, occupation, or political affiliation. Everything else is noise and gets in the way of our, our life mission. So thank you for letting me be a part of this prayer breakfast. The, this breakfast is meant to encourage all people to think more carefully about the heritage which God has bestowed upon this nation. And I'd say that this breakfast is also a time for elected leaders to recognize the blessings and therefore the responsibilities that we have and that are bestowed upon us as leaders in the decisions that we make. This morning, I'm going to talk to you about a net. For those of you who are accountants in the room, you're thinking that's net profit. If you're a supply chain person like myself, you're thinking net count or a net weight. But if you're a baller, you're thinking about that basketball going swoosh into the net. But that's not quite the net that I have in mind. I'm going to park that for a moment because I want to deal with something else, and that is, how can we transform our culture? How do we confront it, and how do we transform it? Because this is one of the most important questions that we can answer for ourselves, for those that we lead, and one day before God himself. 